Hey everyone and thanks for joining me today. So this is actually the first day of Shut Up and Sit Down online convention. So I don't expect anyone is going to be on a stream here with me. But if you do make your way over, then obviously very glad to have you here. We're looking at Coleco. Uh, I haven't played this previously, but having played the latest game that Fallout Games are putting out on Kickstarter currently, which is Cascadia. So I'm not sure if they're trying to stick with games beginning with CA, but so far seems to be the case. Um, yeah, Cascadia I've really enjoyed, I've backed it, and obviously that's going to be a good few months before it gets delivered. It seems to share a few commonalities with Coleco, which, as you can see, it's rated 8.0 on Board Game Geek. Number 25 best abstract game of all time. So this did slip past me. I really enjoyed Patchwork, and I'm not a huge cat person. So having one small, quick patch lane game was sufficient. And then I played Cascadia, and now I'm here to try Coleco. So, uh, where's my transition? What we're looking at with this game, I've read through the rules and got ourselves set up. And it's, again, pretty straightforward, very similar to Cascadia. One to four players, 30 to 45 minutes, so similar time frame. What we've got is our quilt board here. We're going to be drafting these tiles, placing them out, trying to meet these bonus objectives, as well as these three scoring. This is the recommended standard setup. The advanced setup is basically you randomize everything. So this is uh, probably the easy option, almost certainly the easy option. Thimble here only wants three matching shapes, four or five for various points to attract the cats. Some of these have various different shapes that they're gonna want to be. Likewise, if we can have three of the same color and three of the same color around here, so three blue, three green, for example, we'll score eight points. If that also happens to have three of the same pattern and three of a separate pattern, we would have met both objectives and score the higher 13 points. This one would want six different colors and six different patterns and this is three pairs of colors and three pairs of patterns and it shows those examples quite well here so the aabbcc was completed twice so we've got two yellow two green two pink but also two of this pattern, two stripes, and two of those star flowers. So it looks like there's a good amount of option, not only in which of these scoring tiles you have in which place, but also which cat groups. And if we can get three of a color, which can include the outside shape, we get these extra, what do they call them? Button token. So the options for different colors, three of the same color in a group of any shape you earn a button that's worth three points and there is the rainbow button for having at least a tile of each color which is also worth three points so what we're going to do we have two buttons and uh, two patches in our hand to start with we will place one and then draft one of the three available patches from the offer and whichever is in the rightmost space 
will then disappear as part of the solo game. So if we were to take the yellow, it's the green that disappears. If we take the green, it would be the blue that disappears. Everything slides down, we will refill three. Um, we would have, obviously, two tiles in our hand at that point, so there's always the choice of two. So again, pretty straightforward. Not a huge amount of options to you, but certainly a plethora of options when it comes to placement. We have started with two of the same tile, but uh, two of the same pattern. I can't see another one here, but there is a yellow with dots. So we could try and go greedy to start with and maybe look at placing both of these around here. We'd need one more, either yellow or purple, of either of these colours. We'd need one more yellow and two more purple. And if we're placing this one, it would have to be dots. But since we've got two to start with, and this is probably the hardest one to complete, let's go for it. I'm going to start with the yellow here, because then we might create a block of three yellow as well. So with that in mind, we will draft this yellow and we'll get rid of the green. Blue moves down and we get two more. OK, so that's good because we want this. We want these purple dots. That's perfect for us. So if we could get four of this pattern together, we would also attract mittens. We've got one here as well as this. So if we were to place the purple here and we do want one more of this pattern, we could place it up here or here to complete it. I'd like to place the yellow here. But for dots, we need five. This would score us two sets of colours if we were to look at doing that though. Um, yeah, it's a shame these aren't threes. If these were the patterns that scored three points, this would be a perfect place to, to start off. Yeah, we'll go there and we'll see what gets revealed. OK, it would have been a bit too much to ask to have another matching one come out. So we've got a bit of a tough decision to make. So we, we do want to use these dots here since we've got two of them early. We're going to want a green around here. Where's this star pattern around the outside? There's stars down here. So we could look at this. It's two greens together and two stars. If we get a third star, that would be three points. So that might be one I go for. This pattern would need a lot. We're not really sure we want to go for that. So I think, oh, uh, three, yes, that, was the, that needs four, doesn't it? That's the problem. So if we put this purple one down, we complete our set of three, which would get us a button. But we'd really want a yellow of this pattern to complete this for three. And also this pattern here. Because a yellow, yellow dot round here. 
Actually, I think we want to put the yellow down. Because more dots up here. If we do get a purple of this colour, and then we potentially could look at five dots. Yes, so let's go with the yellow. So we'll get a button for the th three yellows. And we can take another tile. And I think we might go for a thimble just down here to be safe. Of course, we might see more of this pattern and that might change our mind to go around this space. Oh, it's the yellow one. Excellent, actually. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect. Because we'd lose the three points, but we will get a set of four of the five points here. And then we would definitely need a purple dot. One more purple dot would complete this circle. And then we just need one more dot here. If the dots are one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I quite like that. So yes, we will just place this one here. We'll take the yellow. It's a shame <clears throat> since we had two blue, but there's no way we could have taken both. If we did claim one now, the other would get discarded. Yellow stripe. Oh, look at all these stripes. Okay. Well, one yellow stripe's already gone. How many of each type is there? Oh, one blue stripe's already gone as well. So that's pretty bad. We could be reasonably assured. Let's think, there's, I think it said 104 patches, which is 36, 72. So is it three of each? Maybe it's 108 tiles. So three of each colour in each pattern. So to have two of them out already, we would have to not miss one if we wanted these stripes around here. So we wanted yellow here, would complete this pattern. And it's going to have to go there, even though we block the purple. Um, no, actually, we know we need a purple. We need purple dots. So if we go here. Yeah, we, we know we want purple dots, so these five points are better. So that's okay, we'll take a cat token. Put it here so I sort of remember what it is. It, it does have little cat tokens that match. They, they look quite cute actually. So you would bring your cat over. He likes to sleep on the quilt. Um, so what are we going to take? I, Mm. 
I'm not adverse to taking one of these up here. It's unlikely we'll get another of the same colour. We're going to have a purple. We're going to have a lot of yellow anyway. We don't need, but we don't want. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to complete this pattern anyway. Well, we we'll take the. Yeah, we we'll take the blue, so we get rid of the yellow, and we can see what else comes of it. Yellow dots. Okay, we don't want yellow dots. We want purple dots. But if purple dots go here and we get another yellow dot in here, we're only one away from getting seven points. And it can go here and not ruin this pattern. So we'll take the yellow. So this one will disappear. I suppose I could yeah, place them over here maybe. I'll do that so I can keep track of what's come out. Okay, so it's the right colour at the very least. We could get ourselves the eight points. Put the yellow up here. We could draft the blue dots and complete our block for seven. Yeah, I I like that idea. And we've then got the potential for a blue in here, which can be this one, to get a run of three blue. And another yellow here would complete another run of three blue. Yeah, that's pretty good. Move these down. Hey, Tom, you're right, man. Okay, so I've got to remember what I just said. We want dots here to complete. Actually, it could go. No, we want it here because we've already got dots around this scoring. So dots here. We've got one, two, three, four, five dots for a seven point score. And yellow stars would work because then we've got dots, stripes and these star flowers. And it would get three points here. Yeah, so we get rid of this one. OK. The blue here still works even with what we've just drawn, so that's good. We do have two purple and we can get both of them. So I think we'll try and grab both of these to go around here. Because this wants two of the same colour and pattern. So we take one, we get rid of the green, move these down. Okay, um, I didn't give ourselves the blue button for here. So yellow in there gets a yellow button. And we wanted this second one. This yellow is dead for going round here, so that's fine that it's going to discard. This green one does work perfectly around here. We've already discarded one though, so maybe we'll put it up here. 
because getting two of them would be tricky. We need to make sure we don't miss this pink. Yeah, so this will go. Green moves down. Okay, again, we could grab both of these ferns, which would be pretty good. Because it would also get us the three points for matching three ferns if we get it here. So let's think this through. If we can get two ferns here, uh, the two of the stars here, and the ferns here, we only need a green, green of this symbol actually, so we'd need to get the last one in here to complete it perfectly. But then we'd have two pink, two purple, And we've got to be able to get two of something in here. Yeah, that seems too good not to go for it. So... Place this one here. And take this. Tom, did you catch the start of this where I was explaining what we're trying to achieve, how we're getting our points? None of these are actually great for us. So which which could potentially get us points? If these are going up here to get three ferns. Pink in here would get us three pink. You missed it. Okay, so there's a few different ways we're getting points. If we've got three colours touching, we get a little button point here, which is worth three points, and that's available for every colour. The rainbow one is if you have placed a tile of each colour, and actually I think we have. We've got a green this pink, the purple, the deeper blue. Yes, we do have one of every color, so I'll place that on the green. That's also worth three. These cats want to come to your quilt when you've met certain objectives. So Thimble likes these particular two patterns, and if you've got a group of three, he will come and sit on your quilt. Unfortunately, on this version, they don't have the cute cat tokens. It is just a number with the points on it, but that's what it's meant to look like. Mittens is a bit more fussy. He needs a bigger area. He likes these two, so long as there's four of them grouped together. So for example, we have that here, this yellow token, purple, yellow, and green on the edge here, are all this pattern that he likes. So we've got four together. So this is Mittens sat on the quilt. And Queenie is obviously quite a chonky cat. She needs a big space. She likes these two particular patterns and she wants five together. Uh, we have not... No, we did do it, didn't we? Yes, we've got these spotted patterns. So one, two, three, four, five spotted quilts. So this is Queenie sat over here and these three tiles are the other points that we get and they need to meet certain requirements they're a little more complicated if i start with this one 
you need every space around it to be a different colour. So we've managed five of the six colours so far. And also for the bonus, the higher points, you also need them to all be different patterns. So if we can get a green, uh, which one is it? This green of this pattern, we'll get 15 points. If we can get any green in there or anything of this pattern, so we've met one of these two, we get the smaller points, 10 points. This one is pairs. So I've happened to have got colors that are pairs, but it doesn't have to be that way. But if I can get another two of the same color with the same pattern, we'll meet both requirements. Over here, we've got three of this pattern. We have two dots, so we need a third dot. We have three yellow, and we have two of this purple color. So we need one more purple. So this one needs to be a purple dot to meet the bigger scoring. And that's it. In the solo game, there's no one who I'm trying to beat. Um, and the rulebook doesn't tell me how high a score is a good score, but I imagine the actual game does. So we're just playing and seeing what I get. And then I am relying on people to leave a comment if they've played the game and tell me how terrible we did. Um, Yes, so I can't place both of these. I was just looking at what our, what our options were. So if I want these to both go here to, uh, to get three ferns, one of these is also quite good here. And it doesn't matter which because they're both five space and we can't get five of them together. could just chuck one of them down here but we've got the option of completing this star pat uh, yeah this flowery pattern with another one here or here so let's just take the dots. So we get rid of this one. All right. So we'll play a rather fern. I don't want either of these two colours, I need something different for in here. If it was green, we'd also complete the green score. If it's blue, we could complete the blue score. Is there somewhere? get four of this shape down here that'd be too much we could um actually potentially we could get five five of this shape one, two, three, no, four. These are all terrible, I just don't want any of them. Let's take this one. And this is the first of this colour we've discarded. All right, yellow stripes. Well, we don't want this one here because we know we can't complete that. Put the dots. Actually, let's keep hold of the dots because, at the very least, 
dots in here would complete the pattern. This is literally doing nothing for us. So we'll place that one up here and claim that pink button because we have three pinks in a row. And I'll take this one because we could at least complete this color row even if it does block the pattern from being scored. So this will get discarded. Let's move down. The blue fern. Okay, the blue fern can work for it. No, we've got ferns. Ah, that's frustrating. I think we're safe to dump this one up here. This is our last... No, this space is also... This can be anything. If we place this one here, we only get this completed. Might have to put the dots in here, although they match that colour. Yeah, we've really drawn some bad, bad options. Where are all the greens? I mean, we have discarded four, so that's unfortunate. I'm going to take the blue. See this one I know we can't complete because we've already discarded them. Blue would instantly ruin the pattern. But it could come down here. With this one up here. And we just need a perfect draw for the other tiles. Okay. Let's see what we get. This one can work. This could work. So yeah, let's place this here. And we can draw this blue tile. Get rid of this. Oh, I thought that was... These shades of pink and purple are quite similar. None of these, none of these are good. But if we put the blue one in, we've completed our blue. We could put it here and try and also get a set of ferns. And then get the blue as well. Oh, we did. Yeah, we didn't score this set of ferns. Let's gamble. At least we've got two different shapes of blue that would get us points. This is the pattern we want for up here. So we could draft it just to be safe. So that would get us 10 points. And this can go here to get us eight points. Yeah, that's okay. Ah, 
come on. Yeah, those aren't going to do anything for us, so... We could, we could still dump one up here. And draft another set of dots. So we would still finish this. We've still got this pattern and we've got one chance to get this. Okay. There it is, that's what we want. Excellent. So that will go in here perfectly. Fantastic. So now it's a gamble. We know we can complete both of these. It's a five point difference between either of them. And there's no other bonus that we'd get. So all things being equal. Let's put this up here. So we failed because we didn't get the green, but we have got one of each shape, each pattern. So we get the smaller of the bonuses. We need the blue because the blue can go here. This disappears. We'll do the blue. So we've got three blues together. Unfortunately, this pattern wants four together, so that doesn't get us anything. And we could either put this one in to have, oh, that's what we can do, which is slightly better. We take this piece. So this one will disappear. We'll place this one in here. So unfortunately we haven't got the right patterns because we've got three of this plus symbol and only two dots. But we've got three of the lighter purple, three yellow, so we get eight points. And also we've now just made this collection of three star flowers, which will get us a cat token. So I think I caught every scoring opportunity. There's no triple ferns anywhere that I've missed. No stars. We've got this one. Nowhere else. Did we get five point cat? Yeah, we've got one set of four down here. Those lines are separated. That's clearly separated. We didn't get many dots. No, but we did manage to get five of them together. So we did get one, seven points. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything. So let's have a look how it tells us to total up these points. It's Design goals, cat tokens, buttons. So design goal, this one, we've got. It didn't match the colors, but we did do the patterns. That's going to be 10 points. Fantastic, that looks like 16. This one, we have done colours, we did not manage patterns, so we will get eight points. It's easy, let's turn that into an 18. <laughs> this one, we have done perfectly. We've got pairs of colours and pairs of symbols. So scoring both, we're going to get 11 points. So here we have 
29. Cats, we have 7, 3, 3, and 5 for 18. Oh, look at that. I'm actually quite impressed with that 8. That looks good. And buttons, we've got 1, 2, can't see it underneath. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 buttons for 3 points each. 21, so that is a total of, I've got to do another 8, 68 points. What did they get in their example? 73. So we have lost to the example design. But yeah, that was for a, a very simple game. Just pick up a tile, place a tile. Really good. I imagine there's pretty solid replayability with the various different cats and obviously the drafting with multiple players it's not just a multiplayer solitaire experience you will be affecting each other you can see what your opponent might want and you can draft accordingly if taking a thing for you isn't optimal but it really ruins their plans then that's a valid way of netting a few points effectively but I'm quite pleased with this aside from the fact we only placed a one green tile looks quite good got four little kitties here happy times and what did we wrap up in that was 44 minutes with me talking through so definitely about half hour game yeah nice quick simple little puzzle